Um, let me see, the lightning talk speakers are largely sitting in order. Um, so, because of the delay, we're going to move some of the talks until after the keynote, um, so that we don't miss out on lunch, so we will simply stop at one o'clock, and the rest of the keynote comes after um, Linus Neumann has given his keynote. All right, so let's start with the um, first, um, I believe that's actually this one, uh, Kevin, it's your turn. Um, please. An applause for Kevin. So I will put it full screen. Hello. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so my name is Kevin. The others are hard to pronounce, <laughs> but Kevin Dumu Gaduku. So if you want to try, but Kevin, I prefer Kevin. It's easier. Um, and this is my first time at this conference, and so I'm glad to be here. And thanks to the Next Cloud team for making it happen. Um, so about me, um, software developer company called Andela back in Nairobi, Kenya. So quite a long way from here. Um, open source enthusiast and Liverpool FC fan, and this is not a Liverpool FC jersey. So. <laughs> so, yeah, my talk is about how to get started contributing, right? Um, three months ago, I didn't know anything about Nextcloud, and two months later, here I am giving a talk. So. <laughs> yeah, so the first, first, I think I'll try to build an approach of what I use to get myself to a contributor level, and I think the overall theme of this is try to build trust, try to, yeah, basically build trust with the maintainers who work so hard on this software, right? So there are good first issues, they are labeled like that on GitHub. If you can filter, you'll see there's a label called good first issue, and when I took this screenshot, there were 82 open issues. So these are issues that are easy to get started with, and you think about it, that means there is 82 potential contributors who can start contributing to Nextcloud, right? So for, for this, if you want to really get started, it's, it's a good idea to start with that. Um, so what, what, or how does this benefit you as a contributor? First of all, you are able to successfully set up and run the project. I think this was tough for me the first time, so just trying to work on a new issue gets you there. Um, you get familiar with how contribution works, for example, signing the commits and stuff like that. Um, and you also set yourself up for future success by knowing how to contribute more and more in future. And the last point is really what I want to focus on, you gain trust, right? If you can show that you can fix that small issue that has been labeled for you, so it shows that you are really interested and I think the maintainers can really trust you more in future if you start fixing the, the small steps, right? Um, so benefits to the maintainers, it's, it's a real existing issue, that's why it's on GitHub, right? So if you fix a real existing issue, it's, it helps, right? Um, they also are able to see what are the things that prevent, for example, new contributors from starting, right? So for, I think for maintainers, they've been doing this for quite a while, so I think they get that perspective of um, how does it feel for a person who's totally new at this? How does it feel for them to start contributing? and also build a larger community. For example, I say there's 82 issues, that means there's 82 potential new contributors, and it's good for the community to have more contributors. Um, so the second point is actually use Nextcloud yourself. This way you get to see what it's like as a day, using it on a day-to-day, -day, what potential issues you come across, and and this helps you discover new areas you can contribute. So if you're using something on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you're more familiar with how it works, how you think something should work, potential contributions you can make, stuff like that. Um, so this, this were my first contributions. Um, it's mostly about accessibility and stuff, but, but you get that different perspective as a first-time user. For, for example, if I'm used to navigating stuff by keyboard and I notice it's not possible in Nextcloud, then I report an issue and if I can, I potentially fix it, right? Um, so benefits for you, if you discover an issue, you, you have to eventually file a bug report on GitHub. Uh, so 
you learn how to do that. Um, you're also the best place to contribute a fix because you discovered the issue, right? Um, more interaction with maintainers, for example, to ask, you can ask questions on your stack, you can address the feedback, and that more interaction helps you gain more trust, right? That's the point, gaining more trust. Um, so for maintainers, it's easier for them to provide guidance and help when you care about your issue, you discover the issue, right? So you, they, they just guide you towards fixing it, um, help set expectations. For example, the first time I tried to fix everything, but like Kian told me, hey, focus on this particular issue and just focus on that for now. The rest you can always raise new issues and start on them later. Um, also new perspectives. So for example, for me setting up next load on Mac, I didn't find instructions for that anywhere. I asked around and I figured it out, but I think it helps identify potential issues there. Yeah. Also explore the apps. It, there's lots of ways you can contribute. There's a mail app which has bounties, which is nice. Um, yeah, this is my contribution to the mail app. So with this, I learned a lot. So yeah, and that's it. I think I've, I've gone through this. So let me just leave you with one final thing. It's not, don't take my word for it. This is someone on Twitter. Yeah, he, he really was excited about contributing, right? He's really excited, you can tell. <laughs> and also, I leave you with this quote. So read it, and I hope you can encourage others to do it from that. Just try it, try it, you never know. Yeah, so that's, that's my talk, thank you.